Honeycomb, I see you still venting and shit. You going on all these rants, you going on live and shit. Hey man, understand it's a big difference between Jay Prince and Birdman. And like you overthinking shit. See the problem is you mixing this street shit and the rules and real nigga this and that. You mixing it with the business. And nah. That's why you in your feelings. You expecting too much from these people. You expecting too much. You looking at it the wrong way. It's all about business. Pimp C, you tripping about Pimp C. He got the bins. He got out of jail. Took him to the lot. You got to understand. Pimp C for J Prince, he could have been a cash cow. Had hit records. So, of course, he going to, when he get out, he going to get him the bins, get him the Rolex, whatever. He producing hit records. You know what I'm saying? Like, he moving albums. So, it really wasn't because he really fucked with him or nothing like that. It could have been it too, but nah, he was making money. What you do, though? What you do? Because I hear you let Birdman, goddamn, make you get in your feelings, man. Start expressing yourself, like, saying what the nigga ain't did and all that. that listen to him, like, hold up. They don't ask for no money, money. They don't really like that. They don't even care about the rock. They probably made about 10 million on me. Jay Ben one they probably made 10 million. Now, if y'all ain't made 10 million, y'all probably made about four, five or so. Cause nigga, when I had my own YouTube, I was clocking that shit in. So I was clocking in on them folks, man. I knew I was grabbing 50 balls on my shit. Then before I even got to popping like this, this is our first freestyle. I was popping up. Like, really? I was popping that shit. Snatching 30s out, 40s out, 50s out. You niggas act like y'all was finna do this. We gonna buy you the forum. We gonna buy you the jewelry, the ring. Y'all ain't bought me no jewelry yet. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't probably no jury. Y'all ain't did none of that. I'm tired of it. You see what I'm saying? I'm tired. Like, I'm really tired. I'm my grandma grave for I'm tired. So. Come on, bro. Nigga, I don't ask for no. Come on, bro. Come on. So, Honeycomb, he's saying he was making 50000 30000 40000 a month on YouTube before J Prince. You understand? He came in. He took that away once he signed the deal. Uh, he's saying Jay Prince promised him cars and jewelry and all of their forms. He ain't did none of that deal. Right. He never even came to his hood. Nothing, right? He ain't get the real nigga treatment when he came out. You know what I'm saying? Like, but what Honeycomb gotta realize, it's a lot of shit you ain't done. J Prince, we hear your side, we can hear his shit. He can say a whole bunch of shit. You ain't sold out no arenas. You ain't went number one, number two, number three, number four, number five on the billboard. You ain't got up to 50 to 100,000 a show. You ain't had no hit records. You had millions of views on YouTube. That's it. That's the, they can't be the only. You was making fifty thousand a month. That's your best month. They, you can't be serious. Hey, hey Junior, bring out that finesse two time plat. They go plat. Bring out them Drake platinum plat, diamond plat, whatever. He on this. Like nah, man, it's more than YouTube. Yeah, you doing your thing, but. Yeah, we saying we're going to give you all this, suspecting. I mean, we thinking that you're going to produce the numbers. You're going to sell the records. You're going to stay out of jail. You're going to really bring in some money. Like, we're going to get money. Like, everybody. You know what I'm saying? But ain't no need to invest into something that going to crash. Like, you're going to go to jail. Something's going to happen. Like, a lot of bullshit. The numbers, you, yeah, you putting out music. Yeah, you spitting, but hey, these hit records and these YouTube records, it's a difference. You know what I'm saying? So we still can get you the foreign and we can get you the jury, but it's going to come out your pocket. You can be in the red. You see what I'm saying? Like, and Jay Prince, he ain't going to really respect that you going online. You can hit his phone. You upset about something. 
talk about that shit on the phone. Don't make it seem like, you know what I'm saying? Don't make it seem like that. Don't pin us two uh, against each other. Don't pin us two against each other. Like, chill. You know what I'm saying? Like, be a gangster. Like, keep saying that you really like that. Like, you're just a warlord or something. Like, you don't know how to keep it. You ain't got no respect. You ain't got no respect. Like, this shit ain't gonna get you far in this business shit. Like, you trying to mix these street politics and all that stuff. Just because a nigga come to your hood, that don't mean he won't fuck you over too. He'll come to your hood, show you love, he all this shit. Man, that don't mean nothing, man. Ask them cash money artists. That's how Jay Prince can feel, or you know what I'm saying, when his partners can. But Birdman, he just different. He more hands on. When he gonna pull up on you, he gonna respect the gangster. Like, he more in the field like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's more success over there. Like, these niggas, real street niggas. Like, you gonna have more respect for Birdman for a lot of reasons. Like, look, he putting his life in your hands. He coming to your city, your hood, whatever. He pulling up. Like he did Gilly. You know what I'm saying? Pull up on you, fuck with you. you go, that's gonna make you respect him more than Jay Prince. And you're gonna be ready to give you a bad, you're gonna want this percentage and all of that, but you're gonna shine harder. See, you really want that bullshit. You want that material shit. So you want the jewelry, you want the cars. You wanna really talk shit. I see what you on. Like, you wanna put this shit, you ain't really on no holes. And like, you try to put this shit in these nigga face. So you feel like right now, you know, Jay Prince, he can look at it like, nigga, he can buy your loyalty. All a nigga gotta do is buy you shit, show you love, pull up. And nigga, you'll flip on me, you'll flip on him, you'll flip on me. You know what I'm saying? So that's how Jay Prince can look at it like, nigga, can buy your loyalty. Like, that's all a nigga gotta do, pull up and do this and say this and spit the game to you. Oh, okay, you one of those type of niggas. <laughs> but you really like that? Just like that. I understand, like, but you can feel like cash money had better fit. Birdman here better fit. You're going to respect them more. You're going to listen to them. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, that nigga still in the field. Some type of way, like shot caller type shit. You know what I'm saying? You're going to like how they move. You're going to respect. They banging that beat shit. So it's a, like, it ain't no comparison, man. So, yeah. Man, you know you ain't happy over there with rap a lot. So it ain't, ain't going to feel right over there. It ain't going to feel right. J. Prince not gonna just throw no money at you, just buy shit, he ain't gonna do it. You gonna have to get it out of the mud, so. Yeah. You try to buy yourself out the contract, he gonna make sure, you know what I'm saying, you really bring them M's or whatever you gotta bring. However you gonna play it, then you gonna start dissing them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can see where this shit going. But Brazy, it don't matter if you cash money, you rap a lot, you in tour with J. Prince, him, him, mom, ties, finesse. You still need hit records. You still need hit records. So you'll just be a sitting duck with a whole bunch of jewelry and a cash money piece and a lease foreign or whatever. Now you still be sitting on the label. He ain't gonna put you on the Drake albums, the Lil Wayne albums, the Nicki Minaj. And, nah, there ain't be none of that. You ain't even doing your part. He get you all that shit, he gonna spec. You know, you don't really take over the streets. Do your shit. He gonna help you, but you gonna have to do your shit. Come up with shit. And it could be, you may have to find your lane. Like, you may need a nigga, you may have to call the future or somebody else to do a hook when it's time for your club bangers and your radio hits. You may need somebody else and you punch him with the verse and you go crazy. You gotta find that lane and whatever work, you gotta do it like that. You still ain't made that. Yeah, you had that trending song, you trending number two, you going crazy with that, but you need that banger where motherfucker know who you is and you really go crazy with this shit. That's what you need, man, I'm telling you. See, you get that record, man, you know what I mean? The label's gonna come at you. You get that record. Right, man, especially if you get two. That's what you need to be focused on. Other than that, like, it's gonna be a slow grind or a slower grind to the top to 100,000 or so, 70,000, 50,000. So it's gonna be, a, you know, it's gonna take a little minute. But you'll get there. You just gotta keep working for it, man. But you're gonna have to always drop, overwork yourself. Videos all the time, interviews, talking shit on live, doing gangster shit. Like, with them hit records, you can fall back 
You know what I'm saying? You got them branches, you know, they they spinning your shit. You ain't gotta do all that there. Twenty one savage, you ain't gotta do all that there. He living life. Yeah, he living life, honey comb. But it took a lot. It took a lot, nigga. So it is what it is, man. Y'all hit that like button, man. I'm just chilling on this shit, man. Y'all know the IG duh underscore game underscore spiller. You know the cash app in the bio. Subscribe.